welcome back to the Inspired Entrepreneur with Heather Hope. Hey, hey, welcome back to another day. I am so glad that you are here. And I am so glad that we're in September. How about you? <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, okay. So yesterday we started the podcast. This is the episode. This is number two. So welcome back. Let's just jump into this right now. Okay. So as you know, I'm just going back to my, to my, I can't wait to get the, the book in my hands. How about you? So if you don't know, my name is Heather Hope. I am a law of attraction business coach, mentor, teacher. I, I teach the law of attraction, spirituality, how this universe works with entrepreneurs, business owners, people like you. Um, and I've been doing this work for, I don't know how long, if you don't actually know me, goodness gracious, I really didn't do a great job yesterday introducing myself. Did I, um, I actually have, Oh, so that's something that's something that I'd like to work on. Just FYI. I don't want to say actually all the time. I hear it. I hear myself saying it all the time. It's a pet peeve of mine. So we're going to stop doing that. Okay. Let's start over. I am a law of attraction, business coach, mentor, teacher, teacher. Jeez. Can I talk today? That'd be awesome if I could. Um, and before I was a coach, I don't really like to use the word coach anymore because I'm, oops, sorry. If, if there's any banging on my mic, sorry, I'm just getting used to this thing in my face. Um, I've been coaching for about six years and I, I'm moving more into the teaching type of role. I do have clients. I have private coaching clients. I do have a um, coach uh, coaching group program, um, my Soul Line Business Academy that I have. Um, that I do group coaching with, but primarily I'm kind of helping people understand this material better. That's really what I do. I help people understand it better because I've been told that I, I have a way of, um, explaining things. It well, not explaining things, but explaining this particular topic pretty well. Okay. So before I was a coach, I was a psychotherapist. I was a licensed psychotherapist for about, I don't even know how long I should look at a calendar one day, um, 12, 14 years, somewhere in there. And so since I was about 20, I changed my major in college, went into psychology because I could relate to it so well and had a really fulfilling career, um, as a therapist. I really loved it. And then I just needed flexibility and I really wanted to work with clients all over the world. So I quit my job and became an online coach and never looked back. Not a single regret whatsoever. I love what I do, especially with this material. So let's, let's, that's a little brief <laughs> intro of who the heck I am. Um, so let's get started. As always, I don't want to um, take up too much of your time since this is a daily podcast. Um, I want to make these a little on the shorter side. Let me get rid of my Facebook page so there's no distractions. Let's go over to my book. So this is the daily book. It's being published soon. So you can actually get this. Oh, I said it once, right? So you can have it in your hands on your desk. You can flip to whatever day it is and get a nugget of inspiration. And um, it's just, it's just amazing. It helps me reading through my own book. It has helped me tremendously. It, almost in tears yesterday because I was just, wow. It just amazes me when we, when we really tap into our passions and allow things to flow through us, how beneficial it is to us and to others around us. So let's get to September 2nd because that is today. Okay. So September 2nd, as I said yesterday, it's a little bit, um, got a little bit more words to it. So let's get started. It's so amazing to go with the flow each day, following source and seeing where it takes me. The days I tap into that flow are the best days. I am surprised and delighted around every corner. Follow the thoughts and guidance that is always flowing. 
if you let go of the negative thinking, the preconceived notions, the old belief patterns, you will be guided directly to what you want. It's just a whole lot of fun. <laughs> I wrote this not too long ago on my Facebook page. And um, it was one of those days where I, I was just, everything I write is in the moment. I rarely ever share stuff that's not in the moment. Sometimes I go back lately, working on this book, I've been going back through my page and some of the things, but I share them. I don't copy and paste, but I share them from that day. Um, so each one of each post, everything that I write is in that moment, how I'm feeling, what's going on. Um, sometimes just very vague, but short and to the point. So basically when I get myself in a good mood every, like I do this every day, this is just my, my way of being. And this is coming from many years of depression and, um, waking up in a really crappy mood, waking up really irritable, waking up all these, uh, you know, emotions that are not fun. That was majority of my life. And I changed it a few years ago to really train myself to think a different way. It was, man, I went through like a boot camp in my mind, especially early last year was the biggest shift I made to pivot my entire coaching business to what I do now. And it took, it just took a lot of mental, um, mindset to do that, to, you know, to really be determined to wake up every day in a better mood. And I work on that. I work on it every day. And so I do mindset work in the morning and I, and I get myself in that place. So when I, when I start the day like that, not every, not every day is, you know, a success. There's sometimes there's things that happen that I just lose my cool a little bit. You know, it's like, if I'm tired, I make sure I get enough sleep always because I don't want that to be an issue. <laughs> I don't want it to be irritable because I didn't get enough sleep. You know what I mean? Um, but you know, waking up, getting myself in a better mood, really knowing that if I get myself in a better place, in a better mood, in a good mood, in a really good mood some days, I can just go with the flow. I can just go with whatever comes to my mind is the perfect thing. Now, you know, I know I've structured my life in a way that I'm able to do that. Like I work completely from home. Um, I don't have a whole lot of responsibilities because I've chosen to get rid of a lot of them. <laughs> so I've lived an entirely, you know, several different lives in the last, I'm 45 years old. I've done a lot. I've had a lot of, you know, different things that I've done. I've been married before I'm married again. I've done, you know, I've had an entire career. I've done all kinds of things and I've scaled back my life to a point where I'm not that busy and I don't have a lot of responsibilities. And this may sound really bizarre, but I just wanted that. I wanted a very simple free life. I don't have children for that reason. Um, I have a, an amazing dog that I just love to pieces <laughs> and it's so fulfilling. So, um, and I have my career, which is my, you know, another love of mine. So I'm able to really go with the flow really like I don't have a whole lot that I have scheduled during the week and on purpose because I don't like to be bogged down with too many details. I really like to, to work with the flow, the flow of source. So let's go back and read this. It's so amazing to go with the flow each day, following source and seeing where it takes me. It's so fun. It's just fun. The last sentence was, it's just a whole lot of fun. Like when I have this strong impulse to just take a drive, which in, in my house, it's like mandatory for me to leave the house daily. <laughs> it's one of those like self care, um, habits. I don't always achieve it because I get busy and then I don't feel like going anywhere. It's also like 150,000 degrees outside. <laughs> so I don't always feel like leaving the house, but, um, 
but when I feel the urge to just take a drive or go to a certain store or whatever, it's just either I run into someone or I find something that's been on my list forever and I couldn't find it before. And it's just your inner guidance, your inner being, your higher self, whatever you call that other part of you, that, 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 <laughs> that piece of you, that huge piece of you that is source knows what you want and knows how to get you there. So when you can get in a good mood, which is the receiving mode of the receiving mode that you want to be in the good mood one, right? Cause you're always in a receiving mode, but which one are you in good or, or negative, right? So if you put yourself in a good mood, like purposely get yourself in a good mood as much as you possibly can, like distract yourself from stupid things that are going on around you or social media or the news or whatever, whatever's going on, get yourself back into a good place <laughs> because whatever ideas come to you will come good ideas. Like how, like what the heck is the next step in your business? You have to be in a good place to receive that. If you're in a place of fear and doubt and all this negative stuff, if you're in that place consistently or anytime, really, that's the receiving mode that you are in. So when you're stressed out and you get an idea, it may not be the greatest idea. It may pull you out for a little bit, but if you really want the, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my God, <laughs> type of ideas that are just that take you flying through your, you know, through the air, practically what it feels like, get into a good mood, get into a really good mood, get happy, get satisfied, get content at the very least, right? Get, get yourself in a good place. And then watch what unfolds because it is so amazing. The better it gets, the better it gets. And that's so true. It's a hundred percent true because it's law of attraction. When you have a great feeling, when you have a great idea, when you have great thoughts, you get more when you're in a crappy mood and you're just discouraged and you're just done with everything and done with everybody. And oh my gosh, I totally know. Like I do get that way probably daily for a moment or a few <laughs> because I am human and you know, it's just normal. It's normal to get mad. It's normal. This is just normal. But if I stay there, more bad stuff's going to happen. Like more like stupid stuff that you're like, God, is this ever going to end? So you have to like stop in those moments and be like, okay, is this really that big of a deal? Or what can I go do now to take my mind off of this stupid thing? Right. Or this irritating thing or serious thing, maybe even for a moment. Okay. So the days that I, I tap into that flow are the best days. I don't know if I like that word flow. It sounds kind of weird. Anyway, the days I tap into that flow are the best days. The best days. They're the best days. It's like those are the days that are mind blowing that it's not really mind blowing for very long because this stuff gets normal. Like ma these manifestations become very normal. Sometimes it's like a surprise because like Abraham says, surprise and delight. Surprise because you didn't you didn't expect it in that moment. That's really the surprise. That's part of the surprise, right? It's like, what? That, oh my God, that just happened. Okay. Wow. But those are the best days. It's like the better it gets, the better it gets. And you're just like, what the heck? So I am surprised and delighted around every corner. There are those days where it's like, I, I just do one thing after another, take the next action on something or whatever. Big, little, doesn't matter. And the day is freaking amazing. <laughs> it's just like, what the heck? And then there's other days that are just like complete, like what did, did I even, I don't even know what I did today. You know, there are days like that. Absolutely. Because I'm not inspired every single day. I just, I have days where it's like, I can't, I'm tired today. I'm just tired. I'm not inspired. I don't want to do anything. I absolutely have days like that. Um, a lot of times lately it's been on the weekend. I think I've prepaved that to be, become my weekend sometimes, which is not the greatest thing, but, um, but I am loving what I'm doing. So that's all that matters. Okay. So follow the thoughts and guidance that is always flowing. So when you're in this really great place, this mood, whatever pops in your mind, try 
as much as you can to follow on that. Like go, go wherever it's telling you, do whatever that thought is telling you to do. If you have an idea to go do something, go do that. Like do it as much as you possibly can do it as soon as you possibly can, because your inner guidance is telling you, it's telling you, it has the broader perspective to show to tell you, you'll get that tug, that intuition, that knowing that, that pull. And it's telling you, you, you got to go over here right now. Like whatever is going on over here, you need be, to be in on it. You, you're going to run into someone, meet someone, find something that you wanted, any number of things, like all the things that you want is like on this list for the universe. And it's like, okay, we're guiding you guys. We're guiding you right now. So when you have that pull, that tug, you got to follow it. You got to follow it. Even if it doesn't make sense. Now that is like a whole, like I could talk a month about the whole concept of even if it do it, even if it doesn't make sense, my entire, like, if you follow me, the millionaire manifester came about on an idea, an impulse that made no sense at the time. None, none of it made any sense. But one of my coaches at the time was like, do it. Even if it doesn't make sense, just follow it through. She was an Abraham listener too. And I did. And then it just kept going. And then I kept getting followers and then I kept, you know, like it just kept growing and I'm like, okay, well, I learned my lesson to follow it. Even if it doesn't make sense, because you don't have the full picture, your inner guidance, your, the universe has the fuller picture, has the full picture, the entire picture it has in front of it. We don't, we just don't have that perspective in our human form. So when you get the pull, go, when you get the idea, act inspired action. It's like the only time I do anything is when I'm inspired. <laughs> so, but it's that whole thing of when you act with inspired action is the equivalent. This is what Abraham said. It like 10 seconds is like 2000 hours or something like that, but we won't get into that. But it's like when you act on inspired action, when inspired thought, inspired action, it creates so much more like so much more gets done. So much more is like, holy crap. I just like, I literally wrote half this book in two hours. <laughs> well, maybe not a half, let's say a third. It was a lot. It was a lot at the time. Um, I, I, I booked three nights in, down in Scottsdale and a couple of weeks ago, just to get away from my house and go write. And for like the first day and a half, I wasn't doing anything. It was just one of those moments, like I got to go to the store. I need to get food. I need to like figure out what the heck I'm doing here. You know, it was just one of those like getting settled, which was kind of annoying. I don't know. And then, and I didn't, I didn't really sweat it. I was just, I knew, like, I just knew that I will have the inspiration. So I left it to the last day, got into this really amazing mood. And I just, just went on fire on this book and I got so much more done than I intended to because I got into that inspired space and acted and I got so much more done than I had planned to do. And I was just like, wow, this is so easy. Like I could write a book in a day. Oh my gosh. You know, all these months that I've been trying to figure out this book and finally, you know, the idea pops and I get into the space and poof, it just happens so quickly. So, okay. So if you let go of the negative thinking, the preconceived notions, the old belief patterns, you will be guided directly to what you want. So this is like the only thing that gets you, um, that gets you stuck. Let's go back to that. Okay. So this is the only thing that gets you stuck is any negative thinking. So your inner being, your higher guidance, whatever you want to call it is, is, is guiding you around all this stuff, guiding you around your beliefs, guiding you around all that. But you, you really got to do your part. You really do. You have to do your part. I know a lot of you are really working at this of letting go of negative thinking, like really getting on board with this stuff is real. I can actually have anything that I want. Like I believe that to my core that I can have anything I want and I know how to do it. 
Like I know, like I know the principles of this. I know that. So when I have a dilemma, like I did yesterday, I'm like, Heather, you can have anything you want. What is it? And sometimes it's just hard to know exactly when you have two choices in front of you and you know that you can't make a wrong decision. That's another, those are some topics this week about following your excitement, following how you feel. And you, your, your, your emotions are your guidance system. Thank goodness. When you really understand how you're feeling about stuff, then you know how to act, you know how to move, you know where to go. So if you let go of the negative thinking, like, okay, so you get this idea, this great idea. You're like, oh my God, that's so exciting. And then you start thinking, well, how am I going to do that? Right? The house, which we got to throw out. But like, if this particular thing you think that you need money for, but you don't have the money for it, you're like, oh gosh, I don't have the money for that. I can't do that. Oh God, why does this always happen to me? Why? Why? And then you just go down this rabbit hole of all the reasons why, you know, you go back in life and you just pull out all this crap of why, why me? Oh my God, this is always whatever. You know what I mean? Like, this is kind of how we've been trained. A lot of us anyway, not everybody, but a lot of us have been trained to be a certain way to, to think a certain way. Like it's just normal to go down a rabbit hole of negativity. I don't know if that's really considered normal. Like, I don't want it to be normal. Like that's not where my mind goes anymore. But like, as I know, anytime I throw negativity on my path, it's like, oh gosh, it's going to take some time to get around this if I don't remove it quickly or, you know, focus on what I want. So the preconceived notions like, oh, this, you know, nothing good ever happens to me. I can't do that. I, you know, I'm not smart enough to figure that out or whatever, whatever, right? All the beliefs, um, the old belief patterns. So if you let go of all that and you just focus on what you want and why you want it, when you get the good ideas, you're like, you know what? I got that idea. That was a really cool idea. I really like how that feels focusing on it. That's, you know, lining up with the idea. Like, I really like how this idea feels. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get there yet. That's pretty general, right? It's fairly general. I'm not quite sure how it's going to happen yet, but gosh, it feels so cool. It's just such a cool idea. I really like this. Gosh, I really like this. Line up with it that way. Be general about it look at how it feels. Don't try to figure it out. That's one of the things that people do. It'll be another day, another discussion. Don't try to figure it out. Let it unfold. The universe knows so much more than we do. <laughs> it's guiding us every step of the way. It's just a lot of fun. Okay, guys. So I'm going to, I'm going to let you go for today and catch me tomorrow. Let's take a sneak peek of tomorrow's topic. It's very, very short, but I can talk. So um, yeah, it's one line. Oh, this is going to be a good one tomorrow though. One line. It's going to be good. Okay. I got to run. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Check out my Facebook page, Heather Hope, Law of Attraction Business Coach, um, for the daily graphic, um, the quote, the, whatever you want to call it each day on my page, I will have the actual, um, from the book, basically. It's all from the book. Like this is all from the book, podcast, the page, everything. So go there. That's where you can find the link to the podcast, the daily, where I just dig into the juicy topic of the day. Okay. Have an amazing day. I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.